welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily. My daughter Grace is almost one. I can't believe it. Um, and I make videos about being a mom and playing with your kid and surviving the whole thing. And right now we're in the middle of a series I'm calling Purposeful Play, where we're talking about all of the different ways that you can play with your kid in a way that meets their developmental needs. So you feel a little bit less stressed about it and you know that your baby is getting the challenges they need and working on the skills that they need. In case you missed it, there's an intro video to this series talking about some of the basics, like what is play, what is your role as the parent, how do you afford all of these toys and activities in a way that's sustainable, um, how can you do this all without stressing out too much. Um, so if you haven't watched that, I recommend going back and watching that, but in this video we are going to kick things off by talking about playing with your newborn, playing with a baby that is zero to three months old. Um, before we do that, kudos to you if you are watching this as a new new mama. Um, I did not start playing with Grace for real until she was probably closer to five months old. Um, we were pretty overwhelmed at first. So if you are watching this and you have a little little baby, the first thing I want to say to you is it's okay to hit pause on this video and just go back to trying to survive if that's where you're at. To be totally honest, your baby is going to learn and develop wonderfully in those first few months even if you do absolutely nothing. Um, so I don't want you to feel overwhelmed with thinking that you need to offer your baby developmental activities in addition to learning how to breastfeed and not sleeping um, and everything that comes with being a new mom. However, if you are in a good place, maybe you're watching this when you're pregnant, or you just got a particularly good night's sleep last night and you're feeling up for the challenge, awesome. Let's talk about some of the skills that your baby is working to acquire when they are fresh out of the womb. As I mentioned in my first video in this series, we're gonna go through different types of development, the skills that your baby is working to acquire at that point, and then some toys or activities you can use with them to help them acquire those skills. So when your baby is a newborn, and that's anywhere between zero to three months, um, one of the primary skills that they are working on that you can help them with is their vision development. So new babies, when they come out of the womb, their vision is really blurry and it's mostly in shades of gray and black and white. Um, and they can only see from eight to 10 inches about the distance that they would be if they were breastfeeding and looking up at mom, they could see her face. So that's kind of where their visual development is at that point. So one of the things that they are working on is being able to focus their eyes. Um, and that's a really important skill. One of the things that you can do to help with that is to give them things that are high contrast for them to look at that are at an appropriate distance. So this kicks into the first thing that we actually purchased for Grace um, that I thought was really helpful for helping her vision to develop. So that item was this activity gem, which we bought on Amazon. It came with some little dangly wooden things. Um, but what I really wanted was this base stand, so I had something to hang things off of. Um, so mobiles are a first sort of category of things that your baby can look at and watch them as they move. So I actually just crafted, I took some black and white felt. This was a craft I did while I was sitting in the NICU. Um, it gave me something to do to channel some of my anxiety. Um, and I just made these little patterns. This is based off of one of the Montessori mobiles. Um, and I just made them out of felt and hot glued them together. And then I tied them to the mobile and let them dangle over her. We would put her in her snuggle knee underneath and she would just lay and look up at them. And she was absolutely fascinated with that for months. Another thing we did to work on her visual development with the same play gym was we took this ring stacker that my sister-in-law gifted me from Hape Toys um, and I actually took these rings and I just again tied them to string and set this up over her. So this was I think one of the things that we did around three months, so a little bit later when she could start to sort of see colors. Um, but it mixed it up a little bit and she would kind of bat at them at that point, um, but it helped her to focus. So for new babies at that stage, a lot of things that sort of move tend to be out of visual range for them. So mobiles are great when they are down at their level at a stage where they can see them. 
Another thing you can do to help your baby learn to focus and work on that visual development is to print out black and white cards. You can purchase sets of these, but it was honestly really easy to just find things. Um, this one just says Gigi for her name, um, but we just found a set of patterns um, somewhere on the internet and I printed them out. We folded them over in pieces of paper like this, and then we would either prop them up in front of her when she was doing tummy time or hold them up and she would stare at them forever. Um, but it's nice because you can see all of the contrast. They can start to focus on the difference between these two and it's just something interesting for them to look at and practice their focusing on. As any new parent knows, another big thing that you should be focusing on when your baby is really little is tummy time. And tummy time is kind of the basis of all of these other skills that they're going to do as far as gross motor development. Starting in the 90s when we started putting babies on their backs to sleep instead of on their tummies because of SIDS risk, um, we found that they weren't getting as much development in their forearms and their neck and all of these things that they need in order to sit up and crawl and then eventually walk. Um, so we started having to do tummy time. Basically, your pediatrician is going to recommend that you start with about five minutes at a time when they're really little um, and then it progresses as they get older. For us, Grace hated tummy time. I think every baby hates tummy time and we kind of felt like we were torturing her. Grace's favorite thing, tummy time. <gasps> there are a few things that you can do to make tummy time a little bit easier. The first one is to just give them something to look at. And our go-to was to give Grace our face to look at. So we would put her down on her tummy on the edge of the bed or the couch and then get down on her level and actually talk to her while she was doing tummy time. Otherwise, your baby is just face down on the floor with nothing to look at but the ground um, and struggling. And it's just not very interesting. There's no motivation for them to lift their head up. So you are a free and very entertaining option for them during tummy time. Another thing you can do is to purchase some sort of play mat that has different mirrors and contrast cards and things like that that are built in. Um, those are really great for doing tummy time. If I could go back in time, I might consider buying the Love Every play mat. Um, I kind of dragged my feet and it ended up being too late, but I honestly think that's the one thing that I regret not buying for Grace. I think that having that play mat with all of its different interesting features around it would have taken a little bit of the load off of me and made it a little bit easier to find some motivation to do tummy time. Another thing you can do that makes tummy time a little bit easier is to take your nursing pillow if you have one. We have the My Breast Friend, but you can also do this with the Poppy or really any other pillow and just set it down on the ground and then prop them up on it so that that way they can see a little bit more. And by being able to see a little bit more, they can still work on those same skills of pushing themselves up and strengthening their arms and their back and their neck, but they can see a little bit more and that makes it a lot less excruciating for them to push through when they have something to distract them. So we've gone through their visual development, we've gone through their gross motor development, they're working on doing their tummy time. The last thing is they're starting to work on processing a lot of their senses and especially their hearing. So one of the best things that you can do is to just talk to your baby. Oh, well cock a ah. to you too. And this starts all the way at the very beginning. For us, we found that reading books didn't really make any sense at this point, and honestly we were way too sleep deprived to do that. So we found that just narrating what it was that I was doing with Grace was a manageable thing <laughs> that I could do at that stage. So I would be changing her diaper and she could be screaming, but I would be explaining what I'm doing. Okay, I'm gonna lift your legs up, the diaper's going under, now I'm gonna wipe your bum, now we're gonna fasten the diaper, things like that. That's a really easy way for you to start to trigger some of that cognition and communication skills, even from that really early age, in a way that is not overwhelming. Okay, like I said, I'm gonna keep it really simple for this first few months because you have a lot of other things on your place. That's all we're going to cover for today. But just remember those few things. They're working on their vision, they're working on their gross motor development with tummy time, and they're starting to work on some of that cognition and communication skills by like just having you talk to them. Good luck. You're doing great. Have fun playing with your baby.